Hi there, I'm Neve. I am a scientist and I'm absolutely obsessed about space. I have a question for you. What are you going to be doing on September the 24th, 2023? What age are you going to be? But why do I ask about September the 24th, 2023? Well, on that day, Earth is going to get a special delivery of 15 teaspoons of dust from an asteroid. An asteroid that is currently 314,710,476 kilometers away from us right now. Let's talk about the asteroid Bennu. We know that there are planets in our solar system. But there are other things too. There are dwarf planets like Pluto. We all love Pluto. Planets that are too small to be considered a planet, but they're also influenced by the gravitational pull of other planets, so they're dwarf planets. And then there are asteroids, huge big clumps of rock and ice that hang out mostly in the asteroid belt, and that's the space between Jupiter and Saturn. Groups of these asteroids get pulled in close to the sun, making their own special orbit across a few planets, sometimes near Earth. A group of such near-Earth objects is Apollo, and some of the asteroids in the Apollo group are called Bennu, and there's another asteroid called Ryugu. Near-Earth objects are the asteroids that could potentially impact Earth. And the asteroid impact that's believed to have kind of killed off the dinosaurs when it impacted Earth way, 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 way long ago, that would have been a near-Earth object. So we need to keep an eye on these asteroids. What do you think 60 grams of rock dust looks like? Well, 60 grams is about 15 teaspoons of sugar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, another five to go, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 50. That is what 60 grams of rock dust looks like. Now, that doesn't seem like an awful lot to you and me, does it? But if we had 15 teaspoons of this kind of dust from an asteroid, if we could somehow grab it and bring it back to Earth, there is a whole lot that we could understand about our solar system, how our planets formed, and also whether organic matter, that's the stuff that makes up who we are, and it's cats and dogs and fish, may be widespread across the universe. So this is actually a lot, a lot of asteroid dust. And imagine if we could design a spacecraft that could complete a maneuver that would allow it gently drop onto an asteroid surface and scoop up just 15 teaspoons of asteroid dust. Would it be worth it? Well, we hope so, because a mission just like that is happening right now from NASA. And there's another mission from the Japanese space agency, JAXA. The NASA mission will land on an asteroid called Bennu on October the 20th. That's right, on October 20th, that's tomorrow, it's going to scoop up just 15 teaspoons of asteroid dust, the most asteroid dust ever collected in space in history. So the NASA mission OSIRIS-REx has been practicing scooping up these 15 teaspoons of dust for about six months now. And then, on October the 20th, they will do the actual grab, or as they call it, the touch and grab manoeuvre, the tag. 
Using a special design, much like a vacuum cleaner, they collect the dust and seal it into a special chamber on the spacecraft. And then they fly back to Earth with the dust on board on September the 24th, 2023. The spacecraft will drop this special delivery down to Earth and it will land in the Utah desert and will be picked up. So right now, over 300 million kilometers away, there's a tiny spacecraft getting ready to do a little bit of vacuuming on the asteroid Bennu to collect just 60 grams of dust or 15 teaspoonfuls. So what will that dust tell us? What will it unveil? Who knows? But it's very exciting. And tomorrow, if you look up at the sky, remember, there's a little bit of space history being made right over your head. <laughs>